old violin which I restored for my granddaughter, Jessica. Excellent. And when I first got it, it was all black, painted black. And I thought, okay, well, I'll leave the case for last. So I had to restore the violin first, which meant fully restored. So I had to French polish, take all the original lacquer off and French polish it all. Adjust the neck, the neck was uh, bent. Wow. And I bought new pegs, new chin rest, new bridge. I made the bridge myself. Uh, you buy these as a bunch of six and then you shape them to what size height depth etc uh, out of tune but it is uh it's look you can look in there Beautiful. it says stradivarius does it really yeah that's it See yeah, I can see that. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But... Fantastic. But, but all German made. <laughs> all German made. <laughs> <things. laughs> Stradivarius. But this, just have a look this, this, huh? this says a copy of. Now what I'll do. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll give you. Antonio a Stradivarius. Oh yeah. Give me a torch. That would be great. Can you. I, I can shine it. You see it there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's picking it up, man. Okay. Whoa. Excellent. Right, so that says uh, Stradivarius, copy of Germany. And many of these cheap mm -hmm. violins, which were made in Germany, hundred. I think this is about 130 years old, uh, came in these wooden cases. And the cases were lined with paper, like wallpaper. And this part would be made of cardboard. Oh, man. And they'd have a little cardboard cut out. Mm -hmm. This is a little bead type thing to stop the violin from moving. So I thought to myself, and this took me weeks to do, but I made the proper shape it only fits this violin mm -hmm, it won't mm -hmm. fit any other violin can i touch it yeah sure what, what is this actually made of that, that is, is a... uh balsa balsa wood okay I right was because say. it's light mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the problem with balsa is it's very soft mm. so what you do is you coat it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a resin okay to make it hard but it's still light okay uh, so originally this never had this, never had this. Wow. And the lining I had to do myself. Where'd you get it. the fabric? That's, eBay. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, okay. everybody yeah. gets their fabric from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I got that from uh, NAFCO, that little button. All but right. that's, I made this. Did you? Okay. To, because I didn't have this. Wow. The original never had this. Look and I, I use this is the original stopper mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the bow, but this one I had to buy. Okay, at a music shop, I guess. Uh, no, I bought or... that uh, at a specialty on on violins on a uh, the internet. On the internet, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It just makes it so much easier to take the bow out. Oh yeah, and it keeps it safely. Uh, yes, secure. Secure. Uh, and I restored sure. the bow. So what I did with the bow, it's all original. Mm -hmm. The yeah. case, the violin, the mm -hmm. bow, mm -hmm. were all original to, to mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I French polished the bow. Okay. I rehorsed the head, the bow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I did the, this is silver wire. Mm -hmm. So I, I, wow. I wired that up. It's all hand done. And you see where I've joined it here under. This is pigskin, which 
is for the hand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And of course, it was missing its uh, little mother of pearl. Mm. So I put a stone in it. I gotcha. And the stone is the same color as the lining. Fabulous. Look at you. Because this is for my granddaughter, who's yeah. only five. At you the better moment. hope she's going to want to play violin, <laughs> man. Well, that's, that's the problem. Does yeah. she want to play the violin? <laughs> yeah. At the moment, she's learning piano. Is she? Okay. No, just you got to gradually get her involved in uh, so in violin, man. How about those latches? Were those original? No, no. Um, the original latches were really funky. Okay. That that's the original latch. Mm -hmm. There was only one. Gotcha. That, that oh. was the original, and I thought that's not going to work. No. So I, I end up buying a new handle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. new latches, and uh, I kept, because I wanted to try and keep it as original as possible. So these are the original. Okay. You just shined them up, I guess. Yeah. What you do is you polish them and then clear lacquer them so they don't tarnish again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But surprisingly, this did have a trademark you can't read it now, but it had trademark. Uh -huh. And this would have been the symbol of the maker. So I thought, well, I'll keep it as is. Yeah. As best keep I it could. as is, yeah. Wow, fabulous, but fabulous. That, that was all French polished. Uh -huh, and I uh -huh. clearly lacquered it because what happens with shellac, yeah. which is French polishing, uh -huh, uh -huh. if you put something cold uh -huh. or hot, say a cup of coffee, Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. going to do that. Mm -hmm. I see you've It'll... experimented with that. Oh, yes. I, I always <laughs> use my guitar. Just, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, it will turn it white. Oh, right. That's right. what happens. I've seen the, that yeah. kind of mark before. So yeah. when you see the white rim, you know somebody put some coffee or something on it and it's changed it to white. Well, that's... And you can't get rid of it, so you have to scrub it all back and redo it again. But if you put a clear lacquer on it, it tends to stop that mm -hmm. quite a bit. Where did you find the violin in the first place? I I was restoring violins. This is my sixth violin wow. mm. that I've restored. Um, I buy them on eBay. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. buys violins on eBay. <laughs> I hate eBay. Seriously, <laughs> I do. <laughs> But I hardly use I, eBay. You anymore. buy them for 150 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And because I was working with Benji uh, occasionally, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is my son's guitar I was making. I see that? I was, I was going to ask you about that next. Actually, I'm making his guitar, but oh, man. he's left-handed. Oh, right. So it's got to be a specialty guitar. So anyway, is Benji still around? I remember him. Yeah, but he's yeah. moved. Oh, really? Okay. He's gone to his parents' house. Which is where? Mm. I'm just up the road a bit. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, I with, with Benji, um, I was making that, but mm -hmm. I had these violins, so I thought, okay, well, I'll restore the violins. So, I... Same principle as guitar, but a violin is designed to be pulled apart where a guitar isn't. So that's why they use cowhide glue on violins. And all you need to do is heat up your knife and slide it mm -hmm. around the violin and it should crack open cool. without damaging the violin. That's why it's all designed. <coughs> so I did that. And uh, then I started to use French polish, mm -hmm. which Benji never saw, he mm -hmm, didn't mm -hmm. realize that shellac is a beautiful paint mm -hmm, or lacquer. So I decided to use this, this shellac there. Mm -hmm. Show you what shellac is. Okay. And you apply it with cloth. Then you just rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it. And I 
50, 60 times, and it slowly builds up. So then there was a professional guitar maker that came and he looked at my violin and he said, how did you get it so beautiful? The grain so deep. That's the difference between mm. shellac and lacquer. Mm -hmm. The shellac really, because you're putting more and more coats on it, it's like looking into the ocean. You've got depth and it brings out the grain of the wood. So hence, uh, I said, I use shellac. He said, what's that? And I showed him. And what he does, he made acoustic guitars, mm -hmm. but he would put an oil on the wood. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. to me, that is really funky because what's happening is it's, it's actually closing the pores of the wood, mm -hmm. which will give it a more deeper sound. Mm, right. It won't yeah. vibrate as much mm -hmm. if it's got mm -hmm. clogged up with oil. For sure. So when I showed him how to use shellac, and you can see the depth. That's Gorgeous. French polishing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's really deep. And when I showed him how to use shellac, he did one and he came back weeks and weeks later and he said, that was amazing. Where can I buy more shellac? I said, <laughs> Internet. <laughs> <laughs>